Taken as many as three Indian nationals from Manipur, particularly students who were stuck in a war-torn Ukraine, arrived in Imphal today. Union Minister of State for External Affairs Dr. R.K. Ranjan visited the airport to receive the returnees. Meanwhile, Northeast Live correspondent Gautam Sharma spoke exclusively to R.K. Ranjan, who informed that close to 17,000 Indians have been safely evacuated and a total of nine students arrived in Manipur from Ukraine. These include the three students who landed at Imphal Airport today, consisting of two female and one male. So, sir, welcome to Notice Life. First of all, how many Indians have been evacuated from the war zone Ukraine areas? Uh, up to today, early morning, uh, we already evacuated 16,700 Indian nationals. So, after the war declaration, airspace was blocked. Now we have no means to leave it, but our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji advised to our senior minister Joy Shankar ji. Then we were all sit together and informed to our all missions office, not only Ukraine and surrounding countries also we requested. And then through Poland and some other four country uh, in the western side of the Ukraine, we arranged to evacuate our students. So most of our students, whomsoever they got the information, they are evacuated. But only uh, difficulty is that uh, just after the announcement, some of our Manipuri, uh, the students' parent, and the Sikkim, and the Honorable MLA from Sikkim, and Tripura's MP and Assam, uh, our colleagues, they were rang to me in the midnight. Our students are stranded somewhere, somewhere like that, and they sent all the passport number and contact number. And then immediately we informed to our mission office and embassy to contact them. And most of the telephone given by them was not picked up, maybe because of the war-torn area uh, or uh, the, uh, the mobiles are, or perhaps no power may be there. And then ultimately we requested Poland, or whomsoever visited to Poland, they have to rush it whether they have passport or not. And the visa we our office is arranged. There are about 33% of the Ukraine's population is Russian speaking. Then we enforce our officer, 12 officers who speak Russian language to the border area so that our students and community should, um, should not face difficulties. And we are at the moment we are using about 16 uh, the aircrafts and over and above we are using uh, four Indian Air Force uh, aircraft and that's why we are able to evacuate uh, up to today morning so more than 16,000 Indian origin and they reached to Delhi and Bombay and they are reaching to their respective uh, the states. Uh, after the declaration of war and we got uh, 12 Manipuri students they want to cross it the border then immediately we call back them to send their document and then we inform our mission office and they could escape it. And next day again another nine Manipuri students again they rang to us that also we could uh, the manage it and the another four also we could manage it. Particularly in uh, Sumi area. Uh, as per our registration we have only some 470 Indians. But now we come to know that it's about 1,000, and these are all encircled and occupied by the Russia. And then how to evacuate is another problem. And then, of course, luckily, Ukraine and the Russia, they have a dialogue of two, uh, first, second, and that in that second dialogue, they agreed to give human space for evacuation. But still then, if there is a human uh, space, we are not able to uh, evacuate. But today, we are planning to make it your leave uh, from that Somi area. And so most probably today and tomorrow we may complete uh, that evacuation from Somi area. So how many peoples are actually stranded in Ukraine notice and how many Manipuris have returned here now? So it's very difficult. And when we projected state-wise uh, the population in Ukraine after collecting the uh, uh, registration number, but most of our students from Manipur are not registered 
uh, with the Manipuri. And somewhere, somewhere from the register, it, so it's very difficult to classify it. And uh, since you know the war declared and how to classify that, it's a very uh, difficult thing. But as far as uh, the uh, contact to us, first one is 12, another one is 8, and uh, third one is about 4. Mm -hmm. These are the uh, currently I know as per my information received, but I was told that it's more than 20 students are there uh, from Manipur. How many has been arrived today? Uh, so far, I come to know that about uh, six or seven has already arrived in Manipur. Today, uh, today is only three, okay. two st girl students and one um, boy student uh, uh, arrived here. Mm -hmm. And then uh, one has already in Delhi and many others uh, in some other states, say, for example, their parents are working in du Dubai, and so they return back to Dubai, and they are like that, you know, scattering somewhere. 